Fittingly, the last topic we'll talk about is termination. We've been talking about how to prove the correctness of programs. And what we've been talking about so far is really what's known as partial correctness. Partial correctness means that if a program terminates, then its output is correct. There's also a notion of total correctness. Total correctness means that the program does terminate, definitely, and its output is correct. So total correctness is actually partial correctness plus termination. The program definitely terminates and it's correct. Termination is hard to prove. That's why actually all along here, we've really only been doing partial correctness. Alan Turing, in fact, showed this in 1936, that there cannot exist a general algorithm that decides whether other algorithms terminate. Now, we as humans might be able to do very clever mathematical proofs that programs terminate, but a computer can't do this on its own in all cases. If you want to know more about this, uh, you can either Google the halting problem or take CS4820 algo. In fact, maybe some of you are in there right now and have already learned this. There are some heuristics that can help, though. Let me give you one that's useful in the kind of proofs that we have been doing here. A recursive function terminates if both of the following things are true. All recursive calls that it makes are in a smaller input, and all of the base cases are guaranteed to terminate. Now, I need to be careful here about what I mean by these terms. Let me give you an example, though, first. What about the factorial function? We've looked at this many times before. Are we guaranteed that it terminates? Well, here the recursive call is on a smaller value. Right? Instead of calling on n, we're calling on n minus 1. And here the base case terminates. So this recursive function does terminate on all natural numbers because when we pass in a natural number here, call it n, we either recurse on the next smaller natural number, n minus 1, or we get down to the bottom natural number, which is 0. But on integers, that's not true. You know, suppose you called fact here on negative 1. Well, then you know what's going to happen. Uh, you're going to keep calling fact on negative 1, then negative 2, and so forth, because nothing in here accounts for the possibility that n was negative. In fact, that would be a precondition if we were writing this down in, as part of a real program that we coded. Okay, so let's be careful here about smaller and base cases. What are smaller inputs? Let's assume a less than relation on function inputs that characterizes what we mean by smaller. Now, this doesn't have to be the same as the notion of less than on integers or natural numbers or whatever, but it could be if, the, if that happens to be the type that we're working with. It wouldn't be if we were working with the lists, right? There, a smaller list would have maybe one fewer element in it. A smaller tree might have one less node or uh, fewer subtrees in it. Okay, whatever this relation is, of course, let greater than be the opposite of it. Here's what we mean. We're requiring that there are no infinite descending chains according to that order. What I mean by an infinite descending chain is a sequence of elements of the type, uh, xo, x1, x2, x3, so forth and so on, where the first one's bigger than the second, the second one's bigger than the third, and so forth and so on. So you have this like infinite chain downward of the first thing is bigger than smaller, 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 smaller. If there's no infinite descending chains, then you eventually get to the bottom somehow, according to this relation. You can't get infinitely smaller than it. Okay, uh, in mathematics, that makes this less than that we're thinking about what's called a well-founded relation. So the intuition of well-founded there ought to be just that, that you can always get to the bottom of it. So the natural numbers are well-founded. You start at any natural number you want, eventually by getting smaller and smaller and smaller, by going down by one at each step, you get down to zero. The mathematical integers, though, are not well-founded because you can keep going infinitely low. Well-founded 
implies terminating under those conditions uh, that heuristic that we just talked about so if you have a well-founded relation on the type that you are recursing on then as long as you start with any input in if you can guarantee in the code that every call is on a smaller value m such that m is less than n then eventually you must reach a base case because there are no infinite descending chains that's what it means to be well-founded 